Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to focus on in insecure deserialization vulnerabilities. Usually, a web server has on backend a main language to handle all the process, all the authorization logic to allow a user to access some determinate areas. As you can see here, we can see an example of the user object in PHP where it has uh, two main values, name and is logged in. Name is a string, is logged in is a Boolean value, which could be one or zero, uh, as true or false. And if it is one, you will be able to access the terminate area, such as the administration panel. If it's zero, you will perform uh, action as a normal user. As you can see, we can have different languages to handle this type of uh, logic, such as Java or, and Python. But mainly, I think in this lab, we will find always a PHP uh, to, to deal with, uh, to exploit in order to get access in administration area. Here, in this section, we can find an example of uh, a portion of code where you can find uh, what's going on. So there is the function and serialized, which uh, takes input a cookie and it will search inside the object and it will see if is admin. If this is true, it will allow access to admin interface. So uh, let's try to exploit this lab modifying serialized objects with the normal credential winer and Peter, and we will try to delete the user Carlos. In this video, I would like to provide you with two main solutions, because um, you can use burp suite or also you can uh, intercept the request and use good, uh, Google Admin Toolbox to encode and decode the cookie session in order to manage the, the object that we previously saw in the section. Now we can uh, use this uh, section target in brute suite, which usually uh, indicates us uh, while we are surfing a web, uh, web page, if there is some important vulnerabilities. In that case, we will be alerted by a red code and on the right advisory, on the section advisory, we will find a description of the vulnerabilities and also the severity and the path and other type of things. Usually also some rules to understand more the process and more the documentation going on. So let's focus on the lab and let's success with the winer username and Peter password. As you can see, uh, in this moment, in the section target, we didn't get something interesting. But if we log out, we will get an, a, red, a red alert, which indicates that Bursuit has found uh, uh, vulnerabilities related to serialized objects. In particular, in the cookie session, if we decode it and we copy it and we uh, use the decoder section, we can see that this string is a, a base64 encoded URL. And if we decode it uh, to from base64 to the normal string, we can see that behind all of it, there is the object, that, uh, which is very similar to the section that we saw before. The object is composed by uh, the name user and the two object username and admin. Username is a string which indicates the user and admin indicates the role. If is B, uh, which stands for Boolean equals to zero, uh, the user will not uh, be able to access the admin panel. But if it's set to one, we will be able to access the admin panel. As you can see, if we 
modify this string and we re-encode it uh, one, one more time also uh, if we encode the equals values because at first I saw that it's it was encoded so I would like to encode it also this this uh, character uh, you can use a normal list or directly this decoder to try to encode some certain characters if we copy this cookie session and we save it into the application into the value of the cookie from now on we will be able to access the admin panel and as you can see uh, we are able also to delete the user Carlos and solve the lab if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe I think uh, in the next video I will do some other labs related to these vulnerabilities see you soon